hey guys welcome to another video of the fireball so today i'm going to be showing you the video editing software made by apple called imovie so imovie is uh, a very famous software it's on all ios and mac os devices pre-installed so right now i'm on an ipad and i'm going to be showing you how to use imovie so as you can see this plus sign here in the top left corner it's to make a new project. Now you can make two kinds of project. One is a movie, which is, you know, your traditional videos. You put them together, you do voiceover and all that. And then there's a trailer. Anyways, we are going to be doing movie today. So in movie, you're supposed to select whatever videos you're going to add. So right now, I'm just going to make a demo film. So you just select all the videos you want to add in order. And create press create movie so then it starts creating your movie and all these videos are now right next to each other so now as you can see there's no audio in this so you click on the top right corner there's a plus button you click on that button in the top right corner and then there's media and audio so in media let's say you want to add a photo or a video you can just go to photos and add a new photo and if you want to delete something just tap on it and click on the delete button in the lower right corner now that will delete whatever you had just selected now this would be a very boring video without audio so let's add some audio so there's theme music sound effects we'll add some theme music we can use bright so we're going to use that theme music and now it's applied throughout the video. It perfectly reaches the end. Now let's, now Ken Burns is something which is automatically applied to a photo, which is it'll go from one position of the photo in the start to another. So like the photo as you can see is slightly zooming in or slightly moving. Now to use Ken Burns, you it's automatically enabled. So if you want to change the area where the photo starts moving and ends, just click on it, make sure your the line in the center, it's on the start part and just move to the area of the photo you want to be in. You can infinitely zoom in and out. Then you can go to the end and zoom to the other area which you want. So now Ken Burns is in. Now since Ken Burns is enabled, when you play the video, the photo starts from where you had, you know, zoomed in and started it and ends from where you had zoomed out or you can even zoom out from the start and zoom in. So, so now let's say you want to remove this shot. You click on delete, but then you want it back. There's an undo button, as you can see, in the right side, right above the video clip, there's an undo button, which you can click. And now you've undone your mistake. And then if you again want to remove this Ken Burns thing, or you did another mistake, you can click it again. So now it's back to how it used to be. You can also preview your footage by just sliding across and it'll display the video at whatever speed. Now if you want to change the length of how long your photo lasts, you can just drag it across and as you can see on the top it says 29.4 seconds or 47 and you can extend it infinitely. So and you can even disable Ken Burns. And if you want the photo zoomed out, just pinch out from two fingers with two fingers. So now we have our photo. Okay, now let's add a new clip, such as you want to add a new clip. Just take the line in the center you see, that's the area which we'll be playing. So just make sure wherever you want to add the clip, it's right where the line is. So you can keep it here. And now you simply click on the plus sign, go to media, video if it's a video or, you know, photo if it's a photo. And then you go on your videos and select the video you want to use. So now I've selected that video and clicked the plus sign which came under it. So now we have this video and if you want to decrease the volume right where the video is, uh, it'll decrease the whole theme music volume but you only want it where the video is. So you can split the theme music right at the start and the end of the video and the theme music gets split. So now you can decrease the volume of the theme music right where the video is. And if you want to speed the video up, you can even speed it up. Up, You can speed it up t as much as 2 into or one, and you can slow it down as much as 1 upon 8 into. So I guess we'll just speed it up into 2 into and you'll have to speed up the music or trim the music just as much. So we'll bring the music here and we can speed it up.
so as you can see the video is going way faster now. And the theme music becomes louder as you can see down there as soon as the video ends because we changed the volume just for the video. Now another thing in iMovie is voiceover. You click on this mic here and then you can click on record and you can add your voice to the video such as hello welcome to this amazing area. And now that such as hello play. welcome to this amazing area. So now if you want to get the theme music read from that area, all you need to do is split the theme music right there. Now if you delete it, the other theme music will just replace it. Therefore, when you split it, you just need to go on volume and make the volume zero. So it's mute right there and only your voice is heard. Such as, hello, welcome to this amazing area. And you can even increase the music of the theme music, like the volume, so that, such it's as, still hello, playing, welcome not to this so amazing area. Now you can also have fade, which you just click on settings and fade out to black. So the video fades out to black and it can even fade in from black. So it fades in from black and we can obviously add filters such, such as, as hello. Right now I've just added the blast filter. Welcome to the everything has the filter on it. You can obviously remove the filter and you can change it and We'll just keep it black and white right now. But it also shows the real colors down where the clips, you can change them. Now you can even reorder clips by holding and pressing one and then dragging t them to where you want them. You can obviously trim clips. And then now you can add text. So text, how you do it is you tap on the clip you want text on and you click on titles. So now there are many kinds of text. So I'm going to go with prism, you just tap on title text here and clear it and then you can type whatever you want. So now as you can see when I play the video, text comes. You can even decrease the volume like I said here. So we'll do that. and we can decrease the volume here and even add voiceover. The golden leaf. Do whatever you want. So you can golden accept leaf. it. Golden leaf. Whatever you want. And the theme music is still playing in the background. Now when you click on the button on the right, as you can see the audio, the waves don't show, but when you click on it and it's blue, that time the waves will show you so you can see the volume without hearing it so now that's the basics guys now we are done with this movie we can click on done and we can name the movie obviously and uh, then you can click on play to watch the movie and you can even watch it in full screen from there's a button down which has a play sign in the middle of a rectangle just click on it such as and then the hello movie will start welcome playing. to this amazing area so now if you want to save the movie, you can click on the share option as you can see, upload option. And then you can click on save video and you can choose in how much quality do you want the video. Now this I'm just going to choose HD 720p and then it will automatically start exporting the movie and start saving it. Now once your movie is exported, it's in your photo library and you can watch it as as you can see, all our edits have come. So now those are the basics of iMovie, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please leave a like. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like if this video helped you in any way. And don't forget to share the video. Also, please check out my friend's channel. It's called Tweeterbox. And we have recently made a new video in collaboration. There's the link in the description, guys. Please don't forget to watch that video and check out his channel.